what's up everyone welcome back to another one of my videos just want to give you guys a uh, an update here um, so the model 3 configuration we um, website is going to be updated pretty soon here um, back on May 11th uh, Elon Musk talked about um, that the model 3 configuration would be updated to allow dual motor configuration uh, as well as the performance uh, configuration to be ordered uh, so what I wanted to do was just do a quick walkthrough of the website uh, as it stands right now before the update. Um, and I'm just looking to get a good comparison between uh, the options that were available before and then the options that are available um, after the update. So here's what the website currently looks like. Um, I do have the option to configure uh, my Model 3, but I'm actually waiting for the $35,000 um, configuration. So what we'll do is um, we'll actually just go through the configuration here. Um, if you're into Tesla, chances are you've already seen this before. Um, so this this won't be anything new. We'll just walk through it real quick. Click to get started. Here are the color options that are currently available. Uh, as far as I know, the uh, color options aren't going to change. Um, the wheels, uh, again, just the standard 18-inch and then the 19-inch 19, 19 upgrades that you can get there. Um, for battery, long range is the only one that's available. Uh, after the update, more than likely, it's just going to be the long range that's available. Um, the standard battery, according to the last um, financial earnings call, that's not going to be available until the end of uh, 2018. Uh, and then the drivetrain, uh, this is probably going to be updated after the configuration. So I'll be able to select this for the dual motor all-wheel drive. And then the premium upgrades. As far as I know, none of the, uh, the premium options is going to change. And I don't think you're going to be able to configure a standard interior. So, so this sh should not change at all. Um, the autopilot full self-driving capability this should all remain the same um, uh, I, I don't think that there's going to be any price reduction in any of this um, but it will be nice to get a good comparison for some of uh, maybe the small print down here see if any of that changes uh, and then we're looking at a three to six week uh, delivery time uh, pricing here fifty one thousand five hundred um, so yeah it's you know right now at the moment um, it's going to be the long range battery only premium upgrades uh, are the only options now I do want you to look look at that price 51,000 is the price uh, for that vehicle now after that dual motor comes out uh, chances are the, the dual motor is probably going to be about a five thousand dollar option so if we take a look at a base Model S uh, let's go back actually so model s here we'll configure one <clears throat> uh, we'll just configure the base one there we go let's see if we pay cash so right now 74,000 is the cheapest model s that you can get so if if you're talking about a dual motor or maybe a performance version I'm thinking we're pushing somewhere 60, 60 plus, uh, especially if they don't allow you to choose like a standard interior um, and get rid of those premium op uh, upgrades, which is a $5,000 option. You're you're going to be easily pushing 60,000 bucks here uh, for a model Model 3. So uh, after that, uh, after those updates go live, uh, we'll make another video. We'll take a look at the two websites and see how they uh, how they're different, and we'll see if maybe if the Model 3 can somehow uh, be cheaper uh, than that $50,000 price that we were looking at earlier. Uh, see you in a bit. Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, part two of this um, Tesla configuration update. <clears throat> so it is now July 27th. Um, last night I finally got the email stating that my account has been updated and that I could now configure it the uh, performance version of the Model 3 as well as the dual motor. Um, well, actually, both of them are dual motor. Uh, one just has a little bit more performance in there. Um, so actually, let's let's take a look. So what we're going to do is we're going to start designing our Model 3. Uh, 
Um, so now over on the right hand side here, it looks like the page has been updated to reflect that the standard battery is now going to be available in six to nine months, which actually makes sense. Uh, we are in July now. Uh, on some previous calls, Tesla did say that the standard version of the Model 3 would be available uh, in the beginning of 2019, so it looks like this is actually reflecting that. Um, and we got some new options here. Uh, so we have a dual motor all-wheel drive option, and then we have a performance dual motor all-wheel drive option. Uh, if we take a look at the wheel-wheel drive option here, uh, in the previous video, the car started out at $51,500, and it looks like with this new version, uh, the new option here is $4,900. So if you do the difference, there's a $2,500 uh, price reduction. Um, and reading on some articles here after the update, it looks like uh, Tesla was able to get some efficiencies uh, out of their operation when building the Model 3, uh, which is something that they did with the Model X and the Model S uh, was they actually did a price reduction, uh, a small price reduction after the first uh, first generation. Um, and it looks like the same thing with the, uh, with the Tesla here, uh, the Model 3, is they were actually able to offer a price reduction. So, um, <clears throat> which is interesting. In my last video, um, uh, I talked about how I didn't think Tesla was going to be doing any type of price reduction, uh, but as you can see, I was wrong. It would be also interesting if they were to actually do a price reduction on the base Model 3 of $35,000. Um, that one I definitely highly doubt um, because Tesla did say that they would be losing money if they actually made the $35,000 version today. Um, and typically the way um, uh, car cost is every year, the cost of materials is going to go up. And so you'll see anywhere from a $200 to $700 price increase on a model. And that's just because you have the cost for the cost, uh, the increased cost of materials, uh, as well as inflation. Um, but in this case, Tesla was able to offer a slight price reduction. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and configure a dual motor all-wheel drive, the non-performance. As you can see, it still gets 310 miles of range, top speed of 145 miles uh, per hour, and then it does zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds, very quick. Um, this is going to cost $44,000 if you take into account the savings. Uh, and if you do a loan, it'll be $723 a month. Uh, showing three to six, uh, three to five months for delivery. Uh, let's take a look at the color options. I don't see any new colors. Um, black is still standard, so that's included. Silver metallic, uh, pearl white is fifteen hundred bucks. Uh, red multi coat is also fifteen hundred. So in the last configurator, I remember these being a thousand dollars extra. Uh, black was included, uh, but it looks like white and red are now fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, let me know in the comments if that was always the case. But if I remember correctly, it was uh, red and white were still a thousand dollars extra. Uh, for the wheels here. Uh, 18 air inch uh, aero wheels are included and then you do have that $1,500 option for the sport wheels Let's click next uh, the premium the black interior is still the same uh, but here it has been reflected to let you know that um, after July 1st you will have to pay for your Tesla connectivity um, so this is something that we knew was coming down the line uh, if you read in previous uh, purchases of Tesla, it was actually included for up to four years. Uh, but now is a time where uh, you're going to have to start paying for this after your four-year four expiration. Uh, some articles online are saying that the cost of this is going to be $100 per year to keep this premium connectivity. Otherwise, you'll get the standard version, which when I looked online, Purchasing the standard, um, or I should say having just the standard version, it's not a bad deal at all. Uh, your, your navigation is still going to function. You'll still be able to get uh, live traffic routing included uh, in the calculations in the background. The only difference is, is that live traffic is not going to be actually displayed 
on your navigation, but otherwise, I still think standard is a uh, is a pretty good deal. Uh, let's click next. Uh, let's see autopilot options still remain the same. Still going to cost you eight thousand dollars. Doesn't look like any of the features have changed. Left hand side here looks all the same. I'm really surprised so far they haven't done any type of price reduction on the um, on the autopilot. So in total it's going to cost $806 with all the options in, that we've selected. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Let's take a look at the performance dual motor all-wheel drive. So this one it's showing here that it is going to do 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. We're very fast. Top speed gets up by 10 miles per hour, so it'll top out at 155 miles per hour. It's got the black interior, and there are some exclusive upgrades for this performance version. Uh, let's take a look. Actually, delivery is going to be in two to four months, and let's see what the loan amount is going to be. $894 a month after all of your incentives and gas savings. Very interesting. Colors, uh, all the same colors, no exclusive colors to the performance version. The uh, Again, the white and red is going to be a $1,500 option. Aero wheels are included. However, it looks like there is a performance package that you can select for $5,000, which is going to get you the 20-inch performance wheels, carbon fiber spoiler, aluminum alloy pedals, and that increased top end speed up to 155 miles per hour. Let's select that $5,000 wheel option. Um, so these wheels look real good. They include Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires and you're going to get those red performance brake calipers. Um, here are good things about those Michelin Pilot Sport tires. What else do we have here? Uh, so here's that rear spoiler, which is actually going to be installed after delivery. Um, but if you take a look here, uh, it looks like there's now badging on the very back. It says dual motor, and it looks like it has a, a line under there. I wonder what that's for. Uh, so interesting. Uh, so currently the way badging works on the Model 3 is there is no badging but it looks like Tesla is actually now putting badging onto the cars to distinguish from the uh, long range battery standard real world drive uh, compared to the performance versions here. Uh, and then we have some performance uh, aluminum alloy wheels. Very interesting. Let's click next. All right, premium. Now here we go. This is gonna be new for some of you. So now the performance version of the Model 3 uh, has the white interior again no no different options all the premium options are still the same only difference is is it goes from a black interior to a white interior and let's let's take a look at what the changes are so here's the black interior and when we click that white version looks like this um, wood trim is now changed to white that's what it looks like from the pictures I'm not sure if it'll be silver I'm not sure if it's going to be plastic. Uh, maybe it's going to be vegan plastic. <laughs> uh, but it looks like we do have the white uh, leather here. And then we also have the white uh, vegan leather seats as well. So very, very, very interesting. Uh, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the uh, the white leather here and the inserts in the door. Uh, looks like it might be a bit too much. But again, I have to see this in, per uh, in, per in person. But I, I do really, really like those white leather seats. Uh, so hopefully by the time I pick up my $35,000 standard version, I'll be able to choose this as an option because that's I would definitely be choosing the white uh, interior. So let's take a look at the autopilot. Autopilot options are still the exact same. It's going to cost $8,000. Let's take that off. Oops. Let's go back one. Take that off. So if we do the performance version with the $5,000 option included, our monthly payment would be over $1,000. Now let's 
let's take off that five thousand dollar option just select the performance version let's see what our total cost would be here uh, yeah let's also do the premium interior option of fifteen hundred dollars for the white seats let's leave off autopilot 977 would be our monthly payment so a pretty expensive car um, very fast car, and it's definitely going to compete performance wise with BMW Mercedes uh, all those high-end luxury vehicles uh, in my opinion if you can afford that sixty four thousand dollars performance uh, this is it's one hell of a car uh, 3.5 seconds 0 to 60 insane fast um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, walkthrough of the configurator. If you have any questions, uh, if I you know misspoke about something, definitely leave a comment below. And, and yes, I know I say um a lot. Uh, I don't know why I do that, but <laughs> trying to break bad habits. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Hope you guys have a good day.